Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. Um, and now question number three from the January 2024 Pure Mathematics P2 paper from International A-Level at Excel. Here we've got a question about circle. It says the circle C has center A, 3, 5, passes through the point B, 8, negative 7. Find an equation for C. So now what I always advise my students in, a, in an exam when it comes to uh, questions involving angles or sorry uh, circles equations of circles uh, is generally take a, a, a compass with you which you can draw a circle with easily and neatly into the exam so that you can make a sketch it doesn't have to be accurate but you know it's very difficult to draw a circle freehand properly and you know it will just make everything a lot quicker and easier and and um, neater for you so i'm going to draw a circle okay and the center here, A, is 3, 5. Okay. And it passes through the point a, B, 8 minus 7. So 8 minus 7 would be somewhere, okay, on this side and, and below, somewhere here. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to do it that accurately, but I know it's going to be 8 minus 7 is going to be to the right of A and below, uh, the below A. Okay. So that's going to be B, 8 minus 7. You don't have to do an accurate diagram at all. Okay, now we've got to find the equation for this circle C. The equation of a circle needs two bits of information. We need to know the center of the circle, okay, which we actually have, which is the point 0.35, which is point A. And we need to know the radius of the circle. We need to know the length of the radius of the circle. Those are the two things we need. And we can find the radius because the radius is the length between A and B. That is the radius. Okay, so we can use Pythagoras' theorem to find length of the radius that the length formula so we need to find the the magnitude of the line a b that is the radius which is going to be the square root of which we do the change in x which is going to be you can say 3 minus 8 squared plus the change in y which is 5 minus minus 7 squared so that's going to be 3 minus 8 which is 5 minus 5 squared which is going to be positive 25 so the square root of 25 plus and that's 5 plus 7 is 12 that's going to be um, 12 squared which is 144 so we end up with the square root of 169 okay which is 13 okay the square root of this is actually 5 12 13 triangle okay good so the the radius is going to be equal to 13 okay so therefore we can use the formula which is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. That is the formula for the equation of a circle. Okay, um, and we can we can go through the reasons for why this is the formula. A lot of people, you know, say why is why is this number here, you know, different from the sign of these two? So a and b is the center of the circle, and r is the radius of the circle. So if I was to write down the equation of this um, circle. I have x, I've got to do minus the x coordinate of the center, so it's minus 3 squared plus y, take away the y coordinate of the center, which is 5, so y minus 5 squared equals r squared, which is going to be 13 squared, which is 169. Okay, and that is the answer to the question. That is the answer to the equation for c. All right, so that's uh, simple as that. Um, and that answers the question. And now for part B of question number three, um, we're told about um, the points M and M which lie on C such that MN is a chord of C. So MN is above the X axis. Okay, so it's above the X axis. The X axis would be um, somewhere down here. This is eight minus seven. So that's why. So the X axis would be somewhere over here, I guess. Let me just draw it with a better line x-axis would be somewhere over here. I've just taken the drawing from the last page. The x-axis will be somewhere over here. Okay, so it's above the x-axis and um, it's parallel to the x-axis. So let's just say it's going to be a horizontal line from here to there. Just guessing, right? doesn't matter. In the end, we'll get the, the answer that the numbers will give us the right answer. So let's say M and N is a point or a line that goes through these two uh, points. M and N over here is going to be above the x-axis. And the length of the line is 4 root, root 22. 
Okay, so what do we know about this line? We know its radius. Okay, we already worked out its radius was um, 13. The radius of this line was 13. So we have this triangle here where this is 13 and this is 13. And we want to find the equation of the line passing through the points M and N. So basically, what do we need from this? Um, I need to know basically what the y coordinate of this is. We know it's going to be y equals something. Okay, what is that thing going to be? All right, now this point A has coordinates 3, 5. Okay, now if we can find the distance between this line and that line, then it's going to be basically um, whatever distance it is above 5. Okay, um, it could also be below 5. If that distance is less than 5, it would still be then above the x-axis. But we'll see that distance here. So I need to find the distance between the center of the circle. Okay, let's call this O. And the point here, let's call it X. I need to find that distance. So I can use the fact that this is going to be a right angle triangle because when you when you cut the the chord in half with the radius, it cuts it into two equal halves. Okay, then that angle is going to be a, a right angle that, that joins it. So we can say MOX. So we can have this triangle, which we can call MOX. Okay, I know this is going to be 2 root 22, which is a half of the length of the chord. Okay, and this distance is 13, the radius. I need to find what this length is here. So I can use Pythagoras' theorem. I can say X is going to be the square root of the square of the hypotenuse, which is 13 squared minus 2 root 22 squared. So we can say X is equal to, so we have 13 squared minus um, 2 times root 22 squared. That gives us 81. So X is going to be 9. So X is going to be 9, square root of... So for sure, I know that, uh, you know, from here to here is five units. And from there to there is nine units. So this is going to be y equals 14. y equals 14 is the equation of the line passing through m and n. Okay, there's another, the distance from here down to here would be also nine. But that would be five minus nine, that would give us minus four. And that line y equals minus 4 would also there will be a length there will be there will be a chord here which is also the same length and its distance from here would be nine units down but it's not going to be above the x-axis so we're going to use y equals 14 because we need that that distance above the x-axis so it's nine units above um, the point the center of the circle the center of the circle has coordinates 3 5 we want to be above it by nine units so 5 plus 9 is 14 so y equals 14 would be the chord, uh, the line which will pass through M and N such that that chord M and N will have a length of 4 root 22. It will be parallel to the x-axis and it will be above the x-axis. So y equals 14 is the answer to that question. All right, for those of you who want to know about where the equation of a circle comes from, which was what we found in part A, x minus A squared plus y minus B squared equals R squared, you can go back to the um, you can continue watching the rest of this video, okay, and um, it will, I will show you how to find that equation. Okay, so I've got that on the other, um, I, you know, I'm going to explain exactly how to this equation comes about. Where does it come from? Some students like to know. So those of you who would like to know, you can carry on watching um, the video. Otherwise, you're, you know, of course, welcome to go. There, there's um, another, if you want to watch other questions from this paper, you can Click on the playlist over there. Anyhow, thank you for watching. And if you want to see the other video, continue. Now, some people might wonder why is that the equation? Why is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared? Why is that the equation for the center of a circle? I'm going to just go through a little explanation for those of you who didn't maybe understand that. And so those of you who are okay with this and, and understand it, fine. You know, uh, those of you who didn't and want to know, you can carry on watching until we I explain. So some people like to know why. All right, so here we have a circle. I've called I've, I've, the circle with the center as the origin. Okay, this particular circle. 
that's the x axis that that's the y axis and let's say this is a point p on the circle which has coordinates x y right so what we can say here we can make a little triangle so i'll try and do this as neat as possible you can make a little right angle triangle here with p and the x axis okay so this is the right angle here now this length here between these two points is going to be the x coordinate of p and this is going to be the y coordinate of p right and this is the radius of the circle so we can say x squared plus y squared equals r squared now that is the equation of a circle which has a center or um, the origin okay which is centered at the origin okay we see a relationship between these three uh, you know this is the x coordinate of the point p this is the y coordinate of the point p so we know that x squared plus y squared equals r squared by pythagoras theorem now if the circle was such that it was not centered um you know at the origin supposing it was a circle that was not centered at the origin okay so for example we had a circle that was centered off the origin somewhere okay not at the origin itself um so let's say we had a circle which had a center say over here okay so say that was the center of the circle instead okay and we're going to call the center of the circle a b and this is the point p which is still x we're going to call it x y all right now in this case here we have the radius of the circle would be this line over here okay and you'd have a triangle that looks like this okay and this would be the right angle now in this case this length is not going to be x this length here is going to be x is going to be from there to there and and the point here is a the the, the sorry not x the, this for y y is going to be okay from here to there the y coordinate is going to be from there to there so let me just make this a bit smaller um let me do this actually make this thin okay so this distance here is y and this distance here is b the the y coordinate of of this point here so this is y and this is b let me make that straight okay so the difference between those two distances is going to be the length of this triangle which is this is so this length is going to be y minus b similarly the distance between here and here is going to be a okay and the distance between here and here is going to be x okay so that is the x coordinate of p so it goes from there to there and that's the x coordinate of the center so from, from there to there is a from there to there is x so the difference between them which is this distance here is x minus a so the sides of our triangle here are x minus a you have a triangle like this basically let me just draw it out here this is y minus b this is x minus a and this is the radius of our circle so in this case we can say x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared and that is the formula for the equation of a circle which is centered at the point a b and the radius is equal to r that's where it comes from all right for those of you who might have been wondering where it comes from so just a little bit of an explanation for you the answer to the question here that we had was this this was just a bit of extra thrown in for those of you who are wondering where does the equation where does this equation come from that's where it comes from okay so that uh you know um you know sums up for this video other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will be appearing in this area over here at the end of the video other questions about <laughs> equations of circles from p2 we can find in the video which will be um sorry in the playlist that will be linked over here subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can watch um or you can watch a video here which will be linked here which tells you how to use my channel to find other material igcse cambridge cambridge um, a-level materials as well uh, thank you for watching and see you soon